I think Gio and Coach covered most of the Wake Forest game. I just want to say uh, hats off to them. They came out faster than us, uh, something we've been struggling with on, on defense uh, and on offense uh, and playing a full four quarters. Uh, I think we came out in the second half and showed a lot of heart, uh, which is something to look forward to coming back home and facing another Conference USA opponent this week. Questions? Is there anything that you're looking forward to in that UTSA game? Uh, no, not necessarily, just getting a win. Um, I mean, sure, our record's one and four, but we're only on one in conference. Uh, so we still have a chance to compete for a conference title. And I look forward to, like I said, to being back home and playing another conference USA opponent. Phil, you're accustomed to the physical play uh, versus the force that you're noticing any differently on the field. Maybe that you can bring back to conference USA when you start to play Saturday. Uh, well, I mean, we just need to play fast uh, and get off the field on third downs. Uh, we have a lot of third downs where we make big plays and they end up getting, you know, I think, let's say six yards and, and staying on the field and just prolonging the drive. And then we, uh, we get tired, the back end gets tired, or we're not, we're not getting enough pass rush or, you know, on anything, and it ends up being detrimental to us. So I think. One thing, taking back from Wake Forest, is just getting off the field on third downs and letting our offense come back on and do their thing. What do you uh, make of the team's run defense so far this season? Um, I think it's been pretty well. It can be better, for sure. Uh, we just got to keep working on it and getting our fits right in practice. Uh, Coach Vessel's getting the linebackers right. We've got a lot of young guys rotating in. Um, and then getting experience with seeing the run game and the pulling schemes and, the, uh, and just the straight dives. Uh, I think we just got to get more experience at it, but I think it's looking pretty good right now. And what is that like for you, uh, you playing with guys like Antonio and Prudy, and as you can consider Blaze a young guy sort of as well? Uh, what is it like playing with some of these younger guys on the defense? Uh, I think it's I think it's very helpful uh, with them coming in and contributing like they are right now. Uh, it it gives it eases the coaches' minds, you know, if someone were to go down and. And Montero making his first start the other week. Uh, I'm super proud of him, you know, from coming in here as a freshman, a true freshman, and doing what he's doing and working hard and continuing to work hard, such as Blaze, too, even though he's not a freshman, but he's a newcomer to the system. It's something that me and Martin have been uh, learning since spring ball. So I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty incredible what they're doing with the system nowadays. You had a chance to sort of look at and break down MTSA as an early, a little too early to do uh, we've, I think we've seen, we've, we watched some of their quarterback play and know that he's a mobile quarterback and can throw the ball. So, I mean, we're going to be looking at a lot of it today in a few hours up there. But it's, it's kind of too early to tell. I mean, but they do have a good quarterback, and we know that he, he's very mobile. Where did you improve at the offseason to kind of shoot up the depth chart? It's a big tackler. You've, all, you've obviously done a lot right here. Uh, well, one thing I, I, mean, I haven't really improved on this, but I, I'm just kind of a smaller guy for a middle, for an inside linebacker. So I just had to play fast and, uh, and learn the scheme. You know, I've never played inside before, and Coach Vestal got me right on uh, on psych. I said seeing the pulling guards and just seeing the game from a linebacker standpoint and playing fast when I see it. Anything else? Coach, can you take your first line of Dylan Silcox.